In this demonstration, I'm going to chart the workup of a patient with new onset hypercalcemia, evaluated at the New York Center for Advanced Parathyroid Surgery. First, I'll log into the Waiting Room Solution System. After login, you are queued to review new tasks. In this case, I'll review a patient's recently received lab results before charting the current encounter. Now let's go over charting a patient recently found to have hypercalcemia by her primary care doctor. We'll begin the encounter using a template for taking a history of hypercalcemia. This may be taken by the doctor or medical assistant prior to the doctor entering the room. Now I'll enter the pertinent blanks such as primary care doctor, last calcium level, date, other workup included a bone density test. And now I'll enter the pertinent history, positives and negatives. Leaving the template view, you can now see a correctly worded history based on your selections. Now I'll chart the review of systems. There are several pertinent positives that I'll chart under general constitutional symptoms. If the remainder of the review of systems are normal, then just click the global normal button. Medical, surgical, family, and social history has been entered by the patient through the patient portal. This can be further edited in the note. Medical and family history items can also be specifically denied. In this case, the patient denies any family history of hypercalcemia among any family relation. More specifically, she denies a family history of multiple endocrine neoplasia syndrome in her father and mother. Here I'll chart the pertinent negative history for her father. Now I'll review medications. For this note, I'm going to just reconcile reported medications. Now let's chart the exam. Other than some mild eczema on the left arm, the remainder of the physical exam is normal. So by clicking normal for each body system, your own normals are entered into the note. This is customized for each provider. Now I'll enter my diagnosis and plan. My diagnosis now is hypercalcemia. You can elaborate on your history. This can be entered by keyboard, tablet, or voice recognition. Based on the diagnosis of hypercalcemia, my workup is already defaulted to the standard test I would order. Also based on the diagnosis, patient instructions are made available for printing and or emailing directly to the patient. I'll select my follow-up time. Evaluation and management codes, as well as office procedures, flow through directly to the claim for easy claim creation and submission. Here I see that based on the management options and complexity, I may not qualify for a level 4 consult. However, I did review lab tests, and I did review diagnostic and treatment interventions. Now I see my note is in compliance with 99244. Now, I'll order my standard initial workup for newly diagnosed hypercalcemia. Your standard test can now be ordered as a panel. If a bidirectional connection has been set up, these orders will go directly to the lab. Alternatively, you can print them out for your patient to take to the lab of their choice. Now, before I sign the note, let's see what the note looks like. Your practice logo and name will appear on all correspondences. Pertinent positives and negatives are bolded red. If there are no changes, I'll sign the note. You can also fax your note with a standard consult letter to your referring physician. 
This concludes charting an initial workup of hypercalcemia.